Hey guys, so today I want to do an unboxing, a little discussion slash review of this guy right here. I just got this last week, and I've been wanting this thing for a long time. I originally wanted the red version, the original, and that thing is amazing too. Well, this is the newer green version, and this thing is all over the place. It has so many features, and it's so awesome. So we're going to talk about that today, talk about why this thing is so special, and how it's different from other red dots or green dots out there for pistols. So, as you can see, this is the 507C Green X2 ACSS. This is a primary arms exclusive. And one thing that makes it special right out of the gate is it has a chevron instead of a dot. Now, if you can see, let's see if you can get close enough. So, for 9mm, for example, you're gonna, it's supposed to be factory zeroed at 25 yards. Maybe a little tweaking will be needed at the range, but factory zero for the point, the tip, once that's that tip is zeroed at 25 yards, right below that tip will be 50 yards accuracy. Okay, and then between the two wings at the end will be 100 yards. So if you're zeroed at a or at 25, and you need to shoot out at 50, you just raise the pistol up a tiny bit, and then it'll be more accurate at 50 yards. If you need to hit something at 100 yards, you just raise it up, and then those wings at the edges will be your aiming point for 100 yards. That's pretty cool. Now, what makes this thing even more special is the ring that goes around this thing. So this ring, when you're punching out with your pistol at a full extension of your hands and arms, you should not see this ring. You should only see the chevron in the middle, and that's what you want. You know, you should be seeing this. Now what this ring does is it kind of acts like a visual bumper that will guide you if you're not seeing the chevron because you're not aligned properly. So if you can see over here, if you're aiming too far to the right, you'll see that part of the ring. Too far to the left, that side. Too low, that. Too high, that. You'll see all that. It's going to be basically like a visual bumper that's going to guide you to make those instant corrections to get back on target with that middle sight picture of that chevron. Okay, so for example, I've got the Vortex Venom right here. A good basic kind of budget optic. And if you see, when I line it up, I can see the red dot. Now if I just move it barely, you'll see that I lose it. And that's the thing, especially with newer shooters, when you're practicing the red dots, it might be tricky for you to kind of like fish to find their optic, you know. With enough training and practice, you can get that sight picture pretty consistently when you draw. But it's a lot harder for newer people with red dots. And even with more advanced people, when you add in dynamic stuff like running around and transitioning, going from standing to kneeling or prone stuff, it's harder to maintain that optic, that aiming point that red dot but with this guy right here that pretty much negates that problem makes it way easier so let's open it up and show you guys what I'm talking about comes with some manuals a little wiping cloth multi-tool comes with a bunch of extra screws install and here it is okay you can see the solar panel on top which is awesome we'll talk about that later and now let's see we'll punch it out where are we, where are we at oh it's not on so let's turn it on shall we okay there we go Okay, so if I'm punching way out here as if it was a, a pistol, now you can see, see that ring? Boom, adjusts. Oh, too low, boom. So wherever you're at when you're punching way out, you want to see just the chevron, but you know, with dynamic stuff or you're fishing, that ring helps really adjust to make it a lot easier. That is sick. That's next level stuff in my opinion, honestly. Like. I know this is a patent pending innovation, so I, mean, I don't know what other optic salesmen are going to do or manufacturers, but this thing might be the future. And if it's not, this thing is still going to be like, it's going to have an edge over other optics, in my opinion, because this is just so game changing to me. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or you're advanced, like you would still benefit from this, especially after shooting it. You'll be, wow, this is insane. It's so convenient and it does, does more of the work for you, you know? 
and every little advantage helps, especially in a gunfight. You want every advantage as you as you possibly can. So let's talk about some other features. So it's also 7075 aluminum, very tough, durable. It's also IP67 certified, so it's waterproof, dustproof, and it also has these cool little drainage holes right here on both sides. I don't know if you can see that very well, but that's just to help get excess water out if there's too much water that gets in here, but waterproof anyways, and that's awesome. It has a 20,000 battery life, 20,000 hour battery life with the Chevron only, and then I believe it was 17,000 with both the ring and the Chevron, <clears throat> but that's also mitigated two more with the uh, solar panel. So if you're outside, even without the battery, the, the optic will still work because the solar panel will power the optic up and then you can use this thing just fine during daylight hours. And also with the battery in there, this this will uh, the design will take power from the sun first from the solar panel and then use that prior to using your battery. So it'll save your battery that much more if you're outside during daylight hours to help conserve that battery even more. It also has auto adjust too with the solar panel. So if it's too bright outside, it will adjust the brightness of the reticle, dim it or make it brighter depending on how bright or dark it is outside. And it also has shake awake technology, which is awesome. I love that on any optic. So when the optic's off, just touching it will turn it back on. And that's so convenient. I love that. And it, it, you, there's like four different modes you can turn it off. For auto turning off, it's like a 10 minutes, uh, an hour, and then I think two hours, and then the last setting is permanently turning off the auto sleep. But I'll have it at the default setting, which is turning off after 10 minutes, and then like I said, just grabbing this thing will instantly wake it up. So that is really awesome. And yeah, there's three different modes as well that you can change. There's auto, manual, and lockout mode. So auto, that's basically where the reticle will auto adjust for you based on the brightness and dimness. Manual is where you can obviously manually adjust it. And then lockout is basically locking out whatever features you want, you lock it out. And then if you accidentally push these buttons, it won't change anything. So that's pretty useful. And I wanna demonstrate as well the solar panel for you guys. So this is the tool that comes with it. Another thing too, which is awesome and convenient is the slide out tray comes out the side. You know, there's some times where the battery is beneath the whole optic or like right in the center. This one, it's just a side slide out tray. So I'll take that out. So when you get the screw out, then you're gonna take that same flat side that you used to get that screw out and you're, there's little divots right here that you're gonna push this in and then you're gonna pop that slide out, that tray out of there. And there's the battery. This battery is a CR1632. Pretty inexpensive to get a lot of these and yeah pretty easy so let's go outside and test a solar panel to see how well it works real quick all right, we're outside now the sun is peeking through and the battery is removed as you can see no battery inside and it's still working with that solar panel get out of here fly what are you doing I'm trying to make a video get the heck out of here all right so as you can see it's pretty awesome I love that still works with the solar panel no battery in if there is a battery in it'll take power from the sunlight first before taking from the battery super awesome stuff it's not for you dude all right so we're back inside and I wanted to show you really quick the shake away technology so right now it's off I went to sleep and then just touching it I'll bring it back on and that is awesome shake away is great Helps save battery life, the auto sleep, and then it's turning it on. By grabbing it is so useful. You're ready to go at a moment's notice. And I also wanted to show you how the brightness works. So in manual mode, you just push the plus button. That'll brighten to what you want. Minus will dim it. There's 12 different brightness settings to cycle through. And then obviously auto mode will auto adjust based on the lighting. And then lockout mode, like I said before, will lock out the buttons. That way, if you accidentally push them, it won't change anything. And then also, if you want to change, let's say, uh, the sleep timing, you would just hold the uh, plus button for 10 seconds. And then it'll blink once for the 10-minute sleep mode. It'll blink twice for the one-hour sleep mode. 
and then I'll blink, blink three times for the 12 hour sleep mode and then four times for sleep mode is disabled. But I would definitely recommend the first option, the default, having it on the 10 minute timeout because it'll save battery that much more. And like I said, the shake awake will always keep it ready for what, if you need it anyways. You know, if you're moving around, it's not gonna turn off because of shake awake, but once it's set down, it'll turn off and save battery life that much more after 10 minutes. Okay, and then the manual comes with everything. It shows you how to use all these buttons really well. Great manual. Let me show that really, really quick. It's got everything in here. Super thorough. You guys won't miss anything at all. So in closing, I think this is an amazing optic. I think it's definitely worth looking into. It costs, uh, I want to say 300, 350, depending on where you go, but it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. I think this thing is some next level stuff, has tons of features, and I just can't get enough of how awesome this thing is. I can't wait to get a new pistol here pretty soon, hopefully, and slap this guy on and show some footage of me shooting it for you guys. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Hope you guys learned something. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.